um, Edward Gilbert here again. Um, thank you for the comments on my last lesson. I was really impressed to see um, that type of response. Anyway, um, this uh, lesson today is on multiple angle edits. It's for um, a comment for um, a user and one of my new friends in my channel, um, M-U-S-O-S-F. I, I don't know, even know how to pronounce it, Musasif or whatever. But anyway, um, this I'm I'm making some assumptions in creating this lesson that he's that um, the the question of the user is that, that there are two cameras on the scene and you're switching back and forth from one perspective to the other and um, so that's what I'm doing here I actually right now have two cameras recording me and what I will do to create this lesson is use the actual footage that I'm using right now. So anyway, um, let's go to the computers and get started. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. Um, I've already logged the two video clips from both the cameras. Um, I've named one of them uh, Me Main and the other one Me Secondary. And um, the main camera obviously is the camera I was looking into. When I log these clips, um, and, and this is important when you're trying to accomplish this, is that you want to log the audio and the video for both clips. So let's open up the main camera um, first. And we're going to come up here into our um, viewer and select the stereo tab. Now what we're going to do is play along the stereo line until we find a point that we know we can recognize easily in the other video. Um, and you'll see that the audio is a really useful tool for trying to um, accomplish what we're doing here. So I'm going to hit the play button, or I could have just hit the space um, bar right button. Here again. Um, thank you for the comments on my last lesson. I was really... Okay, where I said, um, thank you for, my, for the comments on my last lesson is right there. You'll see. Let's play it again so you can see it. Um, thank you for the comments on my last... And I like that because there's some, it's spaced out on the audio line and the word um is something that I'll remember and be able to find easily. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add a mark to this audio track. See how a little green um, marker just appeared there? Now what we want to do now is come over to the timeline and we're going to either control click or right click if you can right click and say add a track alright now we're gonna select the video tab again alright now we want to grab this clip and drag it to the timeline and place it in the second track and um, just drop it there and, and, and that's where your video is gonna be okay so now what we want to do is open the secondary video and we're gonna again select the stereo tab and we're gonna play along till we find that same point hello youtubers I'm Edward Gilbert here again um, thank you for the comments on my last okay there we are right there these marks here are some stuff from when I was messing around with this clip earlier there nothing to do with this lesson okay so now we're at that point, so we want to add another mark. So we're going to select the mark tool and we're going to make sure it's there. Now select the video tab and you're opening the video. Now this next step is really important because you only want to drag this video clip to the timeline, not the audio. So let's come down back to the timeline and we're going to select the audio tabs right here. See how they separated from there and there? That means that, you, that that's telling Final Cut Pro that you don't want the audio from this clip. So now let's come up and grab this video and we're going to drag it 